Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading to see what this week holds for us and how we can best play in those energies. The first card is Two of Bridges, Ground. The second card is Major One, Manifestation. The third card is Major Ten, Opportunity. The fourth card is Major Nine, Solitude. And the fifth card is Major Eighteen, Intuition. This is going to be an amazing week, everybody. Four Major Arcana cards indicates that this week is very, very significant. It's got a long-term impact on your life. It really shifts some things for you. Pay attention as you move through the week. This is an important week in your life. We're beginning the week quite appropriately with grounding. Whatever occurs for you throughout the course of this week, that groundedness is absolutely essential. You want to make sure that all of these things that are opening up come into you in a way that allows you to use them in a practical application here on the physical plane. So ground well as you begin the week. You'll stay pretty grounded all the way through to the end of the week, but at the end of the week I want to encourage you to give yourself a little bit of free float time and then ground again. So we've got a nice nice mix of energies through as we're moving through the week. And from groundedness, we're just going to move right into manifestation. Whatever it is that you've been wanting to make happen, get on it and do it now because this is the time. The energy is wide open and supportive. This is a can-do, you-will-achieve-your-goals kind of energy. So move forward. The middle of the week holds opportunity. Now, opportunity can be absolutely delightful and absolutely confusing at the same time. Sometimes so many opportunities present themselves that it's really hard to see which one to choose. I want you to remember that opportunity is following right on the heels of manifestation. So that tells me that whatever you're doing here is opening up a lot of opportunities for you. And it's going to be up to you to choose which opportunities or which one opportunity even are the ones to pursue. In order to make that decision, it's important for you to take a little solitude for a day or so toward the end of the week. Notice the opportunities that are open. Maybe hold that knowledge to yourself for a few days instead of talking with other people about it. Let yourself feel each opportunity and see what sits best with you. From that solitude, focus on your intuition and let yourself intuitively choose which direction to go. These opportunities are good. You just can only focus on one or two or three or four four in order to get where you're trying to go. If you try to pursue all the opportunities that show up here, You'll scatter your energy so much that it dissipates and nothing happens. You want this intuitive energy to ground into something that really occurs. Okay, so in summary for the week, ground at the beginning of the week, get on about setting things in motion to make something happen here. And this can be something big. You've got the energy for it this week. Notice the opportunities that open up for you midweek. Take that information about the opportunities and go into some solitude. Give yourself time with you to feel which ones of those opportunities you like best. And then use your intuition to choose what you'll pursue. Have a really great week this week. I'm excited about it.